once upon a time, the queen is standing here. Does our world connect to realms? Actually not. We can use bidirectional linking to connect realms. Hello, you all. Welcome back. I am Priscilla, and I'm a dental and psychology student currently in Shanghai. Let's give some backstory. Bidirectional linking is the basics of all basics in those non-linear note-taking apps. So if you can grasp the ideas like grasping your love of life so firmly and strictly, you will also be able to master those bidirectional linking apps. For bidirectional linking, Rome Research has four methods. Attributes, alias, hashtags, and the good old page linking. So the page linking is triggered by double brackets. In this use case, I would integrate it with a sentence. I use this one when I'm typing a block of text and linking to a page of notes that I may be synthesizing for today in my daily notes. I can create or link to this data to this page by pressing double bracket and closing it off, of course. And then the next option of a bidirectional link is an attribute. It's by typing two colons after a word. I use this one for, to compile all my authors in the media that I have consumed. So I can click on this tag of authors and see all of the authors that I have referenced in my Rome research database. And then the third one is hashtags. It's pretty much like the RemNote hashtag. You can use it for categorizing types of content, categorizing your notes and where you have consumed it, like if it's a video, podcast, or book, or the project status. With the tagging system, I can pick up instantly where I left off because I know the status of the project. And then the last one is alias. So with alias, so I can change the notes title to a form that flows within the sentence better. But I can still click on it and see the original source of note if I change the wording of the title. Here are the two different types of syntaxes. The appearance of it are quite different. One is a red bolded text and other one is a blue hyperlink. So here is an example of how I can incorporate this bidirectional linking reference into my sentence without disrupting the grammatical syntax. Moving on to the bullet level linking. There are two methods of linking notes at the bullet level. It's block reference and block embeds. So block embeds works the same thing as portals in RemNote. They're just named markedly differently and I don't know why. Block embeds are bullet points that exist in multiple places in Rome Research. <clears throat> so if you edit the note here and it will be updated in the original source too. The notes can exist atomically in many different places. And in block references, I can search through my whole database by pressing the double parentheses and type in whatever keyword, I would see all my bullet point blocks in this search. So when I click on this block, a random code will be generated and this would be the block reference code that can bring me back to the original source. Or instead of using the method of double parentheses to search up the block reference, if I don't remember what reference I'm looking for, I can search up the note title and then open up in a sidebar and then use option click drag to bring this reference bullet point onto my left main panel. So there are many options that I can do with this ref references. There are five in total. Change it into a block embed so, so the updated text can be synced across all bullet points that exist in this database. Uh, replace with text means that the where you reference it originally, that will, it will disappear and it will just exist in your new block reference here. And then the third option is alias, which means that you can still reference it back to original source, but to how you want it worded in this new publication. I can shift click on the asterisk star to bring the original source to the sidebar. And then the fifth one is original. Original means that you can see where you reference this material. So those two functions can be very useful when you are constructing and synthesizing your own notes and making connection as a bullet level. There's no keyword research here. How can I find what book I'm looking for? And continue as your tags and links grow. You can use the query search of and, or, and not functions to navigate through your database. So Rome's query uses this Boolean search logic. The and function means that all criteria must be met and it will be inclusive. Or condition means that one or the other will be inclusive. The query search in Rome will only show the results that met the criteria that is set. This is one of the biggest advantage of Rome. You don't need to worry about the organizations as long as you link and tag your notes. You will be able to find them with those advanced query searches. 
or command you to search for a keyword in the whole database. And another search method is filtering all your tags under a very crowded keyword. For example, if I want to find book notes that are related to psychology and productivity, so whenever a note is tagged with both psychology and neuroscience, and I use the filter psychology and neuroscience, it will appear in the book notes section link. Because obviously every book note I take, I will put the hashtag book notes. Does anyone still read books now? Paper books? And this is the conclusion for Rome. Here is a chart for you to see how to use each function with your needs and current situation at the kitchen. Like if you need a fruit knife or a meat knife or a vegetable knife depending on the stage of cooking. Just understanding those tools are just as important as using them in the right situation. So depending on the context, choose the right weapon of choice to fight your battle of note-taking. And after this, you as a consumer of information have found ways to organize your thoughts and to gain mental clarity. But before that, it's still a complicated journey to learn some of those tools. Or if you like none of those tools, I would say that maybe plain good old paper and pen is the best method for you. Or learning those tools can be a fun journey, it really depends on your preferences. So regardless of the tools and things that I have mentioned on this channel, I know I'm really fancy with those things, but remember, note-taking is recording of information. So find what works for you instead of following those shiny toys and functions on the internet, bi-directional linking, second brain, alias, blah blah blah, all those things. Please, please, please don't fall into the hole of shiny toy syndrome and waste a lot of money on those apps before you know and sure that you will like the functions and use the functions of those apps. Since the diminishing law of returns applies to everything in life, the more apps and subscriptions you buy, the less value it adds to your life. Here's more videos on Revenant and Rome research because I am a nerd like that and I love those technology things and I might learn coding in the future. Be mindful and remember that happiness is a choice and don't believe in what you think. Comment down below on what you want to watch. Hmm. Goodbye, my friend! And thank you for tuning in and nerding with me about all those functions. Really, a, good, a big thumbs up and thank you.